Hi everyone, this is Sarah. Happy Monday. I hope it's happy for you. So a couple stories today and they both involve car fires. So my question to you is, if you saw somebody in need of your assistance, per se, because their car was on fire, would you stop and help them? Would you help them physically get out of a burning car? Hopefully most of you would call at least 911 at the very least, right? Um, but would you actually get out of your own car and go pull somebody out of a burning car? So there's two stories. One where this actually happened. They're both Good Samaritan stories. So one took place in San Diego and um, a Good Samaritan ends up de jumping the highway. So the car that was on fire was eastbound. He was westbound. He was coming home from, I believe it was New Year's Eve, and he sees a car on fire on the other side of the freeway. He pulls over, he had his kids and his wife with him, pulls over, jumps out of his car, runs across the lanes of traffic, jumps over the median, the divider, and then jumps across, runs across those three lanes of traffic to pull somebody out of a burning car. So um, his name is Alfred Castro and he um, he pulled over, he grabbed a, fr a flashlight uh, to help actually slow down the car so that he could run across the highway as well as um, uh, cross the freeway so he could see where he was going. He noticed the woman who was trapped in the car um, she, she couldn't physically get out and she was, she was injured. So he ended up grabbing her wrists and pulling her away from the car. Um, so woman's, the woman's head was really close, um, to the flames. And so again, grabs the wrist, pulls her out. Uh, she was unconscious by that time. Um, fortunately paramedics arrived. She did see major injuries, but um, she did regain consciousness in the um, ambulance on the way to the hospital. And, uh, yeah, so this guy just jumped right out of his car, crossed all those lanes of traffic, and pulled somebody from a burning vehicle. Um, and as I was doing my research, and I found this article, I happened to be watching the news and found the exact same thing happened, almost, um, in New Hampshire. So something more local. So, um, this is a New Hampshire grandmother who was traveling, um, to a birthday party. She had her, she had her two-year-old granddaughter, she had two of her granddaughters with her. So she had a two-year-old granddaughter and a three-month-old and they were on their way to a birthday party and they were driving down the road and they, um, saw a mattress in the road and they realized that they couldn't, she realized she couldn't avoid the mattress without causing an accident. So she thought she would just drive over it. Well, as she drove over it, the mattress got stuck up underneath her car and she realized there was a problem. So she pulls over and just as soon as she pulled over, she started seeing smoke coming from her car and realized that the car was on fire. So she's pretty quick thinking. She realized she needed to save the children and before she could even think twice about what to do, Good Samaritans had arrived. And one of those Good Samaritans names was Stephen York, and he grabbed the two-year-old. And then a woman um, who, in the, in the article, we don't, and we didn't know who the person, sorry, the cat was being bad. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, so um, the, uh, the, um, Stephen York pulled the two-year-old out of the car, a woman grabbed the baby who was in kind of a bat's net basket, and they both brought them to Stephen's car, which was around 100 feet away. And by then, the entire car, the grandmother's car, was completely engulfed in flames. Um, and so, uh, York ended up driving the family home, since they now don't have a car. Um, so, I find it pretty amazing when people... Uh, go into 
what could potentially be a very harmful situation. And there's people who do that for their life, for their living, right? So firefighters, police officers, soldiers, um, first responders, um, which are all amazing. Um, but I also find it really amazing and certainly a good act when people, you know, help other people out and put their lives in risk, at risk to do so. So those are your two good stories for the day and I'll see you tomorrow.